Hey mathematicians, welcome to another episode with Mr. Murphy. And today, we're going to work on combining different combinations of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters to reach the exact same value. Before we get started, let's talk about coin value as a review. Pennies are always worth one cent. Nickels are worth five cents, dimes are worth 10 cents, and quarters are worth 25 cents. Now let's say we take a trip to the toy store with all the money we have. We find a toy car that we really, really like that's worth 26 cents. How could we pay for this using a combination of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters? Well guys, I can reach 26 cents in a ton of different ways. I'm gonna show you a few right now. I'm gonna start with my quarter. I know my quarter is worth 25 cents. That puts me one away from 26 cents. So I should be able to add my penny worth one cent to get me to 26 cents. Now let's say I didn't have any quarters. Could I do it with dimes? Sure I can. Two dimes together gets me to 20 cents. I can add one nickel to get me to 25 cents. And finally, my penny will get me the rest of the way there to 26 cents. What if I didn't have any dimes? I could use nickels. Five nickels will get me to 25 cents as they are each, each worth five cents a piece. Five nickels, 25 cents. Let's add the penny and get us the rest of the way to 26 cents. Now there are other ways of getting there too. For example, I could use 26 pennies. That would take a long time to count, so we're gonna skip that one. Let's move on to our next example. Let's say we take a trip to the candy store this time with all the money we have. You fill an entire bag of candy worth 82 cents. How can we use a combination of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters to come up with 82 cents? Well, now that our value, 82 cents, has gotten much larger, there are way more ways that we can get there. I'm gonna start with my largest denomination or value, which are quarters. Now, three quarters together gets me to 75 cents. 25, 50, 75. That's close to 82%, or 82 cents. If I add my nickel to 75, I'm at 80 cents. And finally, two pennies will get me to 82 cents. Now, what if I didn't have quarters? Could I use dimes and nickels? Sure I can. Dimes are worth 10 cents a piece. So let's say I had six dimes. Three, four, five, six. That gets me to 60 cents. It's close, but not close enough. Now I needed my nickels to get even closer. 65, 70. 75, 80, and my pennies will get me the rest of the way there, 81 and 82 cents. Are there any other ways that I can get there? You betcha. What if I had one quarter? Well, one quarter gets me to 25 cents. At that point, I could use a nickel to get me to 30 cents. I could use another nickel to get me to 35 another one to get me to 40, and I can use dimes the rest of the way. 50, 60, 70, and 80. Last but not least, I'm gonna add my pennies to it. 81 and 82. I can get to 82 cents in a ton of different ways. The options are endless. Remember, Use your groupings and your skip counting to help you. Okay guys, today we learned how to combine different combinations of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters to reach the exact same value. I want you to go out there and try it. Do your very best. I know you can do it.